Has it been any kind of a life for you, Abby? God knows I have not given you much. I could never ask for more. After all, I am Mrs. John Adams. That's quite a lot for one lifetime. Isn't it, Abby? Well, think of it, John. To be married to the man who's always the first in mind to be hanged. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes. The agitator. <laughs> Why, Abigail? You must tell me what it is. I have always been dissatisfied, I know. But lately I find that I reek of discontentment. It fills my throat and floods my brain. And sometimes, sometimes I fear there is no longer a dream, but only the discontentment. And you really know so little about yourself. And can you think so little of me that you believe I'd marry the man you've described? Have you forgotten what you used to say to me? I haven't. Commitment. Commitment, Abby. There are only two creatures of value on the face of this earth. Those with a commitment, and those who require the commitment of others. Do you remember, John? I remember. Mr. Adams, there's been a large delivery for you. Just a moment, McNair. What are they? What is it then? Who sent them?
lately I've had the oddest feeling that he's been writing to me. I have been in expectation of receiving a reply on the subject of my last fifteen dispatches. Is anybody there? Does anybody care? Is anybody there? Your humble and obedient. Are you hungry, John? Edmund Burke, a member of the British Parliament. 